What's up guys? This is a very big one. Uh, first of all, I hope you guys can actually hear me because um, um, like I mentioned in the other video, I am driving off to Graz. It's going to take me ages and I thought, you know, to pass the time, it wouldn't be too bad to actually answer this question too. Um, like I said, this is a huge one. Um, I hope I'm, I, I don't want to talk too long to make this video insanely long, but the um, the supplement industry, like I mentioned before, is fantastic. There are so many haters out there trying to bash it. I don't know why. I can't understand why. Um, maybe it's just road rage or something like that. <laughs> but they, they are onto something. There are specific reasons why I fucking hate some assholes in the supplement industry. Because their mistakes their bullshit what they're doing is destroying the reputation of the sub, sub industry now before I get into the nitty-gritty I just want to mention a couple of companies which I highly recommend I highly love and they've stood the test of time because it's all about the quality quality and hands down Optum Nutrition that's a take the cake but there are others like uh, Dimatize for example I absolutely love um, and specific others but you know you, uh, if you want to trust one company only um, there are uh, thousands of fantastic companies Optum Nutrition is fantastic you know you can't do anything wrong with Optimum <clears throat> and that's the reason why so many people love the company and this is the reason why nothing negative has come out of this company okay now speaking of that there is negativity, unfortunately, a lot, and a lot with very, very big companies. Before I get into it, I don't want to be fucking sued, okay? I don't want to be sued, so I'm not going to go out and mention names which are not mentioned already, okay? These companies have already been mentioned before, okay? They have been warned, and they've come out with um, new products which has fixed the problem now first one is thank God not spread out throughout the world it's a Walmart product okay you guys in the States Chris Jones for example he used to highly recommend it because you don't have to put, put uh, spend a shitload of money on protein because uh, the cheap proteins are perfectly fine bullshit if you getting a product which is far cheaper than anybody else there is a reason for that. Creating quality products is absolutely expensive. You need a ceramic filter, which costs, <laughs> it's cost a fucking a shitload to make a whey isolate, to, to further filter it. You can buy, you can buy the product from the Chinese, Australians, from the Americans, from, from um, um, the English. The name of the game is actually to further filter it, to further improve the quality of the product. And that makes or breaks a company. Okay. Um, like I said, a Walmart product, Body Fortress, has indeed been stated as an amino spiking company. Amino spiking company. There are other companies too, which unfortunately were... A favorite of mine and are giants in the industry I love these companies and I did not expect it I'm not talking about Diamantize or Optimum Nutrition I'm talking about other companies but they are giants they are one of the biggest companies out there and that's what makes me very sad but they have addressed this problem so if you see a protein product with new formula new um, flavor new anything you know you know that um, they didn't have quite a, a, a decent past um, but um, I'd like to get into this camp um, uh, in, in general into the, the whole topic of amino spiking amino spiking is pretty much using specific aminos in a nitrogen test now there, there is a way of testing protein the protein amount um, if it's positively good on a nitrogen test that means there's a good amount of protein in your product this is not amino test this is a nitrogen test and there are ways of increasing 
the nitrogen amount with specific amino acids. It pisses me off. Now, another company which I love because they have actually come out with truth about this. USP Labs have made um, oxalate protein and uh, I can tell you that the way I like to test a product is to drink a fucking crap ton of it. And I can ingest 150, 200 grams of this. I wouldn't recommend it anyway. And I still feel good. I'm not in the fucking toilet. I'm not shitting my intestines out. It, I just, my body reacts so well to oxalate protein. The thing is that about oxalate protein, they have a little brochure inside and on the back, which explains amino spiking, which I thought was absolutely brilliant to, to clarify a couple of things what companies are doing. Um, like I said, there are specific amino acids. If you look into the back and you see taurine extra added to it, okay, not, not an amino profile, but under the ingredients where you see whey isolate, whey concentrate, dextrose, unfortunately, sometimes, creamers, unfortunately, sometimes, okay. There's another big company which is not involved uh, in amino spiking, but their fucking protein. Uh, is so fucking shit. It tastes amazing. Amazing. A red tub. Bing! I think you guys know. It tastes amazing. And there's a fucking reason for that. Okay? So watch out about creamers. <clears throat> watch out about cornstarch. Because if you want a quality protein, buy a quality protein. Don't. If you want a milkshake, go to McDonald's, Starbucks, and then buy yourself a milkshake. Okay? Um... So if you see taurine or you see glycine on the back of the ingredient label, this company is trying to fuck you over, okay? They are trying to increase the amount of nitrogen in the product that the nitrogen test says our protein has a lot of protein, which it doesn't, okay? These are criminals. They should shut their business down because that's the only thing what they deserved. Because if you want 80 grams of protein per 100 grams and you're only getting 20, that's criminal, okay? That's just criminal. I'm sorry. You're giving these guys money, spending your hard-earned money, you're getting, going day in day, earning a couple of cents at your hard work, and you decide to buy yourself a protein product and you get crap, okay? And that makes me very, very angry. Because I am involved in the supplement industry and thankfully for, for a lot of my companies, I invest, uh, <laughs> I recommend, I recommend the stuff what I like through experience, okay? Through experience and, um, you know, it's, it is about business, but at the end of the day, I want the, com the customer to come back to me. I want him to be happy, come back to me and say, thank you so much, you helped me. I'm sticking with you and not with the other company. And that's exactly why I only recommend that what I can recommend. Or what, what, I, what I use myself. <clears throat> other than that, the supplement industry in general, there are um, gimmicks out there as well. There are some proven products which work great. And then some ingredients which sound like Oh my God, this is the next generation. This is the, 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 the steroid replacement, which 